How he loved her, loved everything about her, from her lustrous head of auburn waves to the tips of her sexy toes. Her pride impressed him. Her courage humbled him. Ooh, that's bound to get a girl's imagination whirling. And although I haven't read a romance novel in a very long time, we have some local novelists who have made a living out of creating those lustful moments. It's the major driving force in all of our lives. I, I don't know anyone who wouldn't want that special thing that, that keeps people together. People like romances because first, romance, love is, is a major concern of all of us. And love is also one of the most conflict-ridden things that we do. So, makes a good story. <laughs> Vanessa and Bonnie both started writing when their kids were little, and between the two of them have penned nearly 50 novels, all with a romantic theme. But my stories are all contemporary. I get the chance to explore, you know, emotions, conflict, uh, happy endings and romance is part of life. So romance is the genre that the books are published in, but they're about people and they're about relationships and they're about life. My books are about strong-willed women uh, that are particularly brave in some area of their life. In, in terms of just bravery and courage and putting things on the page about those most delicate feelings, you have to be strong to be able to do that. And uh, I love the challenge. So for a short time I get to live that life and, and uh, be that woman. Bonnie gives credit to getting a lot of her ideas from the pen warriors, fellow authors who meet regularly. We retreat and brainstorm, um, talk about writing, talk about craft. We work really hard. Uh, we tend to really retreat from the world and focus in on each other's stories, uh, career paths. Uh, we talk about the business we talk about promotion, we talk about our love of books, and we talk about the whole life of, of uh, writers. It's wonderful, especially to get letters, you know, and emails from, from my readers, because I know that they have, at some point, just relaxed, closed the book on that happy ending, and they're feeling good. Perhaps the next time you're in a bookstore, you'll find yourself going down the romance aisle, selecting one of the latest novels written by these ladies. There's nothing like curling up with a good book, and why not when romance triumphs and the hero wins the heart of his beloved? He kissed her hard and deep, her breast flattening against his chest while she settled her softness on his hard length.